first son. And um, you know, for somebody that um, makes his living talking, I have a real hard time talking under these conditions because I'm a very <laughs> emotional person. It's hard for me to get my words out when we're doing something like this. So it's bear with me on that because it's hard. <laughs> but, you know, I was thinking about, you know, if I had passed away, what would I want people to say at my funeral or celebration of life? And you know, think of certain things and, you know, first thing is you want, I would want people to tell the stories that made them laugh, the stories that made them cry, the, you know, the funny, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So that's a big part of it. So, you know, I remember certain stories growing up. We grew up, I was born in Florida, but we went to upstate New York. We would come down for the summers. And when we came down for the summers, we would go to grandma's house. I forget the name of the town. Was it Parkland or? Broadview. Broadview, Broadview. Broadview yeah. yeah. And we would come down, and I just remember every time we came down, it would be, we'd be outside, we'd be in the pool. I have pictures of all of uh, my brothers and my cousins and my mom and everybody together. And we're always outside. I was surfing in the pool or going down the slide. It was just the most wonderful time of my life. And uh, those times came to back. You know, we have those are something that you're always going to remember, and they stick with you forever. I remember Grandma making her sun tea. I don't know if anybody else remembers that. <laughs> She'd always have this big thing, and the tea it would sit out in the sun. And, I thought it was the best tea in the world, but that was Grandma's thing. She'd always make tea. And uh, we had just so much fun out there doing those type of things. I also remember Grandma, a couple things Grandma didn't deal with, you know, at her house. One thing was, as Jackie said, you didn't lean back in her chairs. For some reason, that was a pet peeve of Grandma. If you lean back in your chair, she caught you. She was going to kick that chair out from under you and you were going to go tumbling down. That was Grandma. You know, she wasn't dealing with it. <laughs> the other thing that I remember that it didn't scar me, but it stayed in my head forever <laughs> was my sisters and I think Ricky, um, Jack and Jamie, Ricky, uh, I don't know if Robin was there, but anyway, they taught me how to, I was five or six probably, how to climb up the walls in the hallway. You know, you put one hand over and you steadily climb yourself all the way up to the roof and you get to the top. So they taught me how to do that. And so we would do that when grandma was not in the house, which I didn't realize was one of her other pet peeves. <laughs> she didn't appreciate that at all. So we're all climbing up the walls and I think it might have been the first or second time I got all the way up there and they would help me down. So I get all the way up to the ceiling and I'm like, hey, look at me, I'm doing great. And we hear the door open. Well, it was grandma. And mom and Jackie, Jamie, and everybody else scattered like fleas. <laughs> so I'm too little, I'm stuck. I'm, I'm, I'm up at the top of the wall and I'm sitting there. Help, help. No, they're gone. There's nobody coming to help. <laughs> Grandma walks in, she takes one look at me, she goes away. And I'm like, okay, she's gonna come back and help me. She came back with a broom. <laughs> she swiped me off the wall. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last time I, uh, I did that, and uh, it stopped me forever because, uh, but it's one of those things that I remember that I'll never forget because, you know, that was grandma. Grandma had her forks and she wasn't going to sway from her. I also remember she always had something for everything. She collected so much stuff that I'd be like, oh, I got a friend's birthday party coming up. She'd open up a, a, a canister or a closet. She's got great, she's got so many things in there. I'm, I can make my choice of what I want to give my friend. She always had something for everyone. <laughs> she collected it. And my mother is a lot like my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Robbins. Mary Robbins. <laughs> but you know, you wonder like, you know, the other thing is, is what else would you want people to speak about you when you pass? And a legacy, you know, we all want to leave a legacy. We want to leave our mark on the world or on people that are around us. And I feel like Grandma was such a strong person. She was a tough person. She was dedicated to her family. She didn't take anybody's bull crap. And I'll tell you what, if I know my cousins and I know the people around us and I know my mother and I know my Uncle Todd and all my aunts and all, everyone, we're all cut from the same cloth. <laughs> so that legacy didn't fall too far from the tree. We all 
have a bit of grandma's legacy in us because we all are like grandma in so many ways. We're tough. We, we don't put up with anybody's bull crap. We will do whatever we have to do. But the most important thing, she taught family and love because there was always, everybody's here, we're here today, as much of us could be, but we all love our families. We're all there for our families. And the, that is embedded in us. And I would like to think that grandma had a huge part to play in that being part of her legacy with our family because we love our families and we thank you grandma for doing that for us because that is hugely important. All the way to the end, grandma had her wit and when I say she didn't put up with bull crap, I remember one day, this was recently, maybe a year or two years ago, I forget what the event was, and this is when the dementia and stuff has started to set in. And we're having some form of event, and it was, and my brother-in-law, Josh, was there. And, you know, we're all celebrating and happy about something. I don't even remember what it was. And Josh looked at Grandma and he said, Grandma, so what do you think about this? And she looked at him and says, I think they're all full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I, me and Josh, could not help herself, so all we could do was laugh because that was grandma. She told you how she thought, and she was who she was the day that she died. And I just want to say thank you to grandma. I want to say thank you for everybody that's in here. We love you very much. We appreciate you, and thank you for the legacy that you left. Love and family and everything else that you've done for us. Yes. Appreciate it.